Hello, this is a tutorial for using setlists on Rubricable. A setlist is just a logical grouping of LEGO sets. From the main page, you can use the My Lego My Set List, navigate to any list you already have created. And an example here is just three uh, space sets, kind of grouping a theme together here. And what this allows you to do is really add a lot of parts to your collection in the form of sets. Uh, very quickly and down the road this can help you utilize the build engine on Rubricable um, that will look at all of the parts in your collection whether that is in a part list or set list and then it will try to find something new that you can build that you have most of the parts for or if you find something that you do want to build that you don't have as many parts for you can see which ones you still need to get if you already have a set list set up on something like brick set there is a way to uh, sync and import things so that you don't have to do as much work. Otherwise, it's just a matter of adding things one by one. And you can add sets to an existing list, like this one. To actually get in and edit this list, we're going to have to select it over here. Now we can search for set numbers and set names and add them in. But if you want to add sets to a new list, you'll have to set one up. Once you have created a new one, you can edit the details. And then you can tell Rubricable if you want to use parts in the build calculations or if you want to leave them out with this checkbox. We'll save that. Now, if you do know a set number off the top of your head, you can type it in. Rubricable will try to find a set that matches the number. And once you have it selected, you can just add it in, and it'll show up right away. You can also search for keywords. And it'll try to find a set with that keyword in the title. Another way to add sets is if you're just browsing. If we're looking through Speed Champion sets on the main site, we can go along and find one that we want to add and then click on the green plus button. That'll open a pop-up. You have a couple options here. You can tell Rubricable how many of the sets you want to add to the list. It'll probably be one most of the time. You can also tell it which list to add the set to if you have a couple different ones going. From here you can also create a new list if you want. And in the case where a set has multiple inventories, you can tell Rubricable which inventory you'd like to use. Then we'll add it in. We'll jump back to our list. Here's the overview. This will include all the sets in all the lists. And then to get into a specific one, you can jump to it over here. And now we see our current sets in the list. There are much more technical details in the help guide found here underneath the heading and this just goes into more of the background and functionality that you can do once you have set list going and set up pretty useful tools and once you have the basics down pretty easy to use set list on a brickable